So what you're seeing right now is a decluttered version of my room. What you haven't seen is this. All the PR packages. Okay, the decluttering has already happened and this video was mostly for my own sanity. Quite frankly, I'm filming this because I want to kill two birds with one stone. Number one, by filming it for your viewing pleasure and number two, to get rid of all the stuff that does not add value to my life. I have done one of these before and I think you guys liked it. I'm not sure because I only got like 2000 views and I have 135 subscribers so I'm not quite sure but I enjoyed it and I thought, you know, why not? Why not another one? So this is sort of part two of the decluttering process. As an ex, sort of beauty influencer and an aspiring minimalist I decided to get rid of all of the makeup all of the skincare beauty products that does not add value to my life and all of the products will be given to you to my audience who watches my videos regularly and is always there for me the giveaways will be announced on my Instagram page so make sure you're following me there if you are not already in fact I suppose as soon as I upload this video one of the giveaways must be up on my Instagram stories but due to the current pandemic I've decided to do this giveaway only for for my UK audience because I live in the UK and it's much more easier for you to get your parcels. But hopefully things get better and I do an international giveaway soon. Now my main objective for this declutter was to get rid of items that I do not reach out for and create some space. I was also inspired by the home edit on Netflix. They help other people, especially celebrities, get rid of the products that they do not use and organize it in such a way that it aligns to their daily routine. So for today's video, I had two chest of drawers, one behind me and the other one on the left. The drawer behind me was entirely dedicated to skincare and makeup and still is. And the other one was a random mix of items like skincare, stationery, tech products, accessories, nail polish and more PR. Basically all of the items that I do not reach out for on a daily basis. In my previous video I had done a major declutter and also gave away a lot of my makeup to friends and family. But I had not gone through any skincare products at all. Skincare usually comes on the top drawer followed by face makeup, then eye makeup and then the last drawer had a lot of new PR. I also have an IKEA trolley that I absolutely love and use for work and as a side table but it literally has no order to it. And just looking at it gave me anxiety. So to just get started I decided to clear the IKEA trolley first. Followed by the top drawers of each chest of drawers where I had a lot of skincare. I also decided to clear one bottom drawer that was filled with random items. I did not want it to overwhelm myself so I decided to take it one step at a time. Now I'm really not a hoarder so it wasn't super hard for me. I just wanted to get rid of and organize my skincare drawer first. Once everything was on the bed I could now see what I truly needed and what I can get rid of. So first things first I divided the items into three sections. Skincare that I need on a daily basis, skincare that goes into trash and items that I do not need right now slash items for giveaway. All in all, there wasn't a lot of PR in my skincare drawers. Mostly stuff that I used but very unorganized. I also keep my medicines in a pink pouch which I had received in PR. I like to use as much as I can from what I rather have than buying acrylic storage items. I decided to temporarily put new products in a brown box and throw away all of the used up expired items in a black trash bag. Now that I knew what items I needed to keep, I cleaned up the drawer with some antibacterial cleaning spray and paper towels and began organizing my skincare drawer. To organize, I had previously bought disposable food containers, they were perfect size for me and also an inexpensive way to organize. Oil dropper bottles went in one box. Smaller skincare items went in another box and bigger sized skincare items were left outside of the box. Once I was done with this drawer, it was time to clean the other top drawer where I decided to store my lenses, makeup cleaning tools, child friendly perfumes and essential oils and as well as my bag of medicines. Very random but it works for me. Once I was done with the skincare part of the entire decluttering process, it was time to get out all of the PR items under my bread 
under my bread from under my bed and my drawer so once again I had to take out everything on the bed and really focus on what I wanted to keep and what I wanted to give away if you guys didn't know already I'm getting married next year in February and as a Sikh slash Indian bride it is crucial for you to have some sort of makeup skincare products with you like new makeup products and skincare products which you have to take with you as a part of Trujo in your man's house so I needed to make sure that I had enough new products that I'd be excited to use after my marriage for when I become a missus. So with this pile of makeup I divided it again into three sections. So section one was items that I would need for after marriage slash items that I would need in near future or backup items. Section two would be items for giveaway and section three would be items for trash although there wasn't much. So all of the items that I wanted to give away went into the grey box and all of the items that I may need after my wedding went into two brown boxes and all of the items that were my backup products went into a plastic storage box. It felt amazing to know that everything was sorted, everything was sorted for the giveaway, everything is sorted for what I would need and what I use on a daily basis. It just made me feel so light. The storage under my bed was organized and now holds all the makeup slash skincare items that I would need as a bride. The grey box has all of the items for giveaway and the bottom drawer that was filled with PR is now a backup drawer. And for the trolley, I decided to use the top bit for now. I have not kept anything on the second and the third shelf. So I added like a small fan, my Kindle, my water bottle, earplugs, eye masks and glasses. Basically everything that I need before I go to sleep. Now my main drawer has skincare, base makeup, eye makeup, lipsticks and backup products. And the drawer too is now divided into medicines, lens and makeup cleaning items on the top. Followed by stationery, followed by tech drawers that still needs some organizing, nails and accessories and an empty drawer for if and when I get new PR. Apart from this, I also decided to email a few companies and let them know that I'm not interested in their PR anymore. This was a hard decision but it needed to be done for my own sanity and to keep my space clutter free. It did not make sense to have all these products and not use them and watch them piling up in my room. It takes a lot of willpower to go through everything and decide what goes where and it's not something that I want to deal with anymore personally. I only want to receive items that I would be interested in reviewing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this decluttering video. I enjoyed filming it for you you guys i feel much better now stay tuned for all these giveaways and make sure to subscribe it is free and also like this video it helps with the algorithm so take care and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>